Good morning, how are you today? In the studio today, I am going to be carrying on with doing valley studies, but this time I'm going to be using paint. And I'm really, really nervous about it because I'm supposed to be using white gouache and black watercolor. The reason why I am so scared of using white and black partly because I've not done it and that's always really scary and also because of my colour theory background I like to mix my own dark neutralised colour from other colours rather than use black because black on its own kind of feels really flat and lifeless whereas if you mix it from two colours you get colour variations and it feels more alive but I'm the student here, not the teacher, so I'm going to follow it and see how it goes. But I just wanted you guys to know that I am slightly nervous and anxious about doing this. So I'm going to be using my Holbein White Gouache, Artist's Gouache in Permanent White. Fine, don't focus. And then the course recommends Ivory Black. Which, when they said black, I was like, do I even have black watercolour? Uh, I, I do because I make full range Holbein dot cards and therefore, of course, I have black. And the only reason why this tube looks so thin is because I make those dot cards, not because I've used these. And I also have the peach black and the lamp black. And I'm going to try all three of them because... I don't really know these colours. I've always been like, oh, black, no, we're not going to use that. And I think it's wrong to reject something when you haven't tried it for yourself and when you haven't given it a chance and when you haven't experimented with them. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to paint these paintings with different kinds of blacks as well, just to kill two birds in one stone of doing the value study with paints for the first time and trying out these three different blacks. Wish me luck. I've just finished my first painting and I have to tell you that was really really hard. I oh that was a struggle. There was just so many things that I wasn't used to happening all at the same time that it just got overwhelming and I was just filled with anxiety. The painting with a flat brush itself was awkward and I, I didn't know how to use the brush and then Painting with gouache was a new thing and painting in black and white and painting in the opposite way to how you normally paint watercolour which is from light to dark. Here you can do dark to light or light to dark and <sighs> it was it was an emotional struggle. I found that really hard. I'm hoping that the second painting will be a little bit easier.
okay so with this i was so struggling with the gouache thing and so i thought i would paint this with just a black as if i would paint a watercolor painting and let me just tell you it was so much easier for me it just Everything made sense. I knew exactly what I was going to do. I could start from the darkest dark and really enjoy the process because I was in control of everything. And I really liked the look of this way more than the one I did with the gouache. I feel like when you're doing it with watercolor, you have to keep things more simple than you do with the gouache gouache you can go back in and do whatever you want to it loads and loads and mess around with it and just i just end up making it messier whereas with this i was like oh i just had that serenity that i normally have with watercolor and i really like this painting i'm very very happy with this one i also used lamp black for this one and i'm not sure if i'm liking this lamp black better than the other colors just because i had an easier time with it and i like the effect more but lamp black right now is my friend <laughs> What did I learn from this? Well, I learned a lot. First of all, is the lesson, the biggest lesson I've learned is not to stuff too many challenges into your exercise. With this painting, I had so many different challenges, so many new things. It was the first time of me painting value studies. It was the first time I was really painting with gouache. And it was the first time doing with flat brushes. It was just way too many things going on. I was battling with too many things and with everything I tried to do, I just didn't know how to do it. And so with the gouache ones, I really didn't enjoy the process. I was anxious all the time. I also don't like the result because I didn't know what I was doing with it. Whereas once I just removed that gouache element out of my system and just did it with the watercolor, it was just so much easier for me and I could enjoy the process rather than feeling anxious and battling through the task. I also got used to using flat brushes by the time I got to this and I knew better which one to use the inch brush, one inch brush and which bits to use the half inch brush. So that was really helpful as well. Out of these three, I definitely like this one best. I think it's atmospheric. Whereas these two aren't, these two just looks messy to me. Whereas this has an atmosphere. I'm not happy with this bit. I might go back in and fix it. But other than that, I love how it turned out. The trees here was completely accidental that it blurred out, but I'm really, really happy with it. I'm really happy with the sharp lines of the house and how the mountains just gradate down. Moving forward from this, to do more value studies in painting. I'm just gonna stick with using the black paint and not get the gouache involved. It's just too messy for me. I'm not experienced with it enough and I'm not willing to throw that challenge in to the mix of learning to do value studies. And ultimately, I want to be a watercolor painter rather than a gouache painter anyway in terms of landscape. So it makes sense to stick with what I know and what I love doing. I hope you enjoyed me battling through these value studies. Do let me know in the comments down below what you think of them and whether you've tried value studies and, and how you found them and how you found battling with gouache for the first time, if you've ever tried gouache and what you thought of it. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next video. Bye.